think I may be losing my mind. Oh, I already lost it. Already lost it. Damn, I may be losing my mind. Now don't tell me that I lost it. That I lost it. Okay, so that's the setup. Eyes are kind of cockeyed. I <laughs> mean, lights are kind of cockeyed, but you know, I'm gonna get the job done. Let's see if I can kind of turn this light on and give you an idea. Say <laughs> so you can't see me, you damn lie. <laughs> These cheap lights ain't gonna work real good. I just gotta keep some AAA batteries with me, you know? Keep some AAA batteries with me and I'll be all right. Try to get this crusty, dusty grip off. I've already done enough damage. <laughs> it's basically just the throttle tube almost, but I don't know what they used or if these grips came with the throttle tube, like attached like that, I don't know. It's like, I've never had trouble, this much trouble getting grips just off a throttle tube, so I don't know. But I just want to take it for a ride first and then I'll come back and mess with that. I like it, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I tell you what, I don't hear about motorsport enough. People always talking about Rocky Mountain ATV and all that, but between motorsport and Parzilla, bro, they got it. Best prices, best selection, most selection, OEM, aftermarket, best price. They got way more than Rocky. I ain't saying Rocky Mountain ATV. Ain't got some stuff. I've just never ordered from them because it's usually they got something and then they don't got something. Like they might have one thing that I got, but not everything. But anyway, as you can see, you may not be able to see. <laughs> it's fuel injection cleaner. Suzuki e, EC Star. This fuel injection cleaner for the cow. We do have some bad news. Well, it ain't that bad. It's just kind of unfortunate. Um, I realized that my new cowie, Faux Nifsky, needs front wheel bearings and a valve adjustment. Um, it's just taking too many kicks to start, like six kicks regularly. And it's backfiring. Those are just signs of valve adjustment needed. And um, when I'm getting at higher speeds, it's just the front wheel gets squirrely, so I ain't got time for that. So. For now, I'm just, um, it's like the, what's today? Like the 23rd, rent's doing a week. So I'm not gonna buy it, go put it, take it to the shop this week, but the next week, between the next one to three weeks, so. My new bike won't be ridden for at least two to three weeks, so. For now, we're just gonna focus on the blaster. So, parts for the blaster should be here tomorrow. Uh, fuel, uh, fuel injection, I mean, oil injection delete, and uh, the tours delete. So that'll help the idling issue and just get rid of the, uh, you know, the oil injection. No one that's a malfunction. Well, he already kind of bypassed it, but he didn't take the gears and stuff off and he didn't take the tank and stuff off. So I'm gonna just take the tank off, take the gears off so we can really do the oil injection delete the right way, you know? Cause I don't want to keep those plastic gears in there. They might get brittle, break off, cause problems. Ain't got time for it, so yeah.
Blaster, what we gonna be working on. Probably pop out this weekend with the guys on the Blaster. You know, practicing willies on that. So for now, Cowies down. But here's what it is, ain't what it ain't. It's part of the game. So. And I'll be completely honest with you. The one thing that I forgot to check when I bought the bike was the bear. Several days later. Okay, it's another day. Fresh off the gig. Check my mailbox. And we got parts. Well, first, as you can see, we got some plugs. Um, BRAESs. I was going to try the radium, but it's like, you know, two smokes. Uh, they foul plugs. That's pretty much all you really need to delete the uh, oil injection. This little kit, I got it off eBay. It comes with the OEM gasket. Um, the little cap that goes on the car for where the hose comes from the pump. But I gotta figure out how to adjust it, but yeah. That's the uh, gasket. All right, this looks like the Taurus Delete Kit. Let's see if we got the Taurus. So we have the new throttle cable. Mm -hmm. It's not OEM, but you know, it's gonna work good enough. Um, we have more. This is the new throttle screw. A drill bit to drill the new hole for the throttle screw. Can you see that any good? And then we have the tap to tap the new hole, the new threads <laughs> for the throttle screw. The throttle screw. Guess I'm tired. Idle screw. <laughs> I went with this one. It has the red cap. I got the 2004 with the red flame. Oh, the gasket came out. I had the gasket. 2004, the red frame, so it to go with it. It's a Tusk throttle tube, aluminum, aluminum. For a Tusk aluminum. So we upgrade to. This was like $30. I got it off 27 plus taxes. It's just free shipping. Came really fast, too. Here we are in the garage with the blaster. We're going to start off with the oil injection delete. So you can see, it's the oil cap right there. And oil reservoir. Gotta get that up out of there. Take that off. Um, there's a line. You gotta take that off. Um, is that the line or is that? That's not the line. Here's the line. You can hardly see it, but. This is the line. And it's running. Down. Through. Let's see if I can see this. Line is running down through to here. Run down. See, this is the line. This is the line coming from the carb, I guess. Um. So yeah. 
Alright. I gotta take it out to do the uh, tourist thing, anyways. You can see this little. Thing right here has to be plugged so you can see it's not right now um, we got to take this off this whole cover is going to have to come off the whole foot peg assembly got to come off I'm pretty sure the brake pedal has to come off and even the uh, kick start joint because all that just has to come off Oh so yeah, I got my oil pan here. Got to drain the oil after I get everything off. Everybody pretty much changed the clutch cover gasket when they do this, so. I'm pretty much just going to prep everything for now. Go ahead and order that gasket and then, you know, pretty much finish it when it gets here. Got the foot peg, this piece off, whatever it's called, heel guard, whatever, whatever. We got it off. Now we got to get the rest of the foot peg off and the brake lever. Probably don't even have to remove this all the way. Probably good enough with just getting it out the way like that. So now we gotta remove the oil tank here. Oil reservoir. Whatever you fancy, you feel me? Whatever, whatever you want to call it. It gotta go. I lied. That's to get the break it off, but still got one more boat. There she goes. There she goes. 